Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back, man. Got another great video for you guys today. You guys know the deal, man. You know what we're here to do, man. We're here to just, it's about the facts, guys, right? It's all about the facts, right? All about the facts, man. Because there's a lot of lies going on out here, man. They're trying to change the history of the NBA, guys. Right before our eyes. They're trying to change the history that we watched growing up. They're trying to change it on us. We will not allow this nonsense to happen. That's why we're here, guys. And I respect and appreciate all you guys, man. Much respect, man, for subscribing, for showing my channel love, man. It means a lot to me, guys. It really does. And in this video, I'm going to do a quick video on James Harden, right? This guy, James Harden, man, I hear a lot of things on social media, right? Guys pumping up James Harden, thinking he's a top five shooting guard of all time or a top 10 shooting guard of all time. I'm here to tell you guys right now, James Harden is not top 10 all time shooting guard. No. And you guys know what to do, man. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, this is going to be a quick video, man, because I'm not going to get crazy on this. But listen, we have to stop. I did a video, I don't know, about a month or so ago, some, some weeks back, about James Harden. And some of you guys were asking me what my top 10 shooting guard list is like. And I never thought about that, guys. Never thought about a top 10 shooting guard list. And even now to this day, I never really gave it a lot, a lot of thought. However, just thinking about some guys off the top of my head, there's no way James Harden is in my top 10 shooting guards, guys. Now, listen, if you believe James Harden is a top 10 shooting guard, okay, I, I get it, guys. I get it. We all have our opinions on these lists. However, for me, I don't respect James Harden. Once again, I'm going back to the respect factor here, guys. I do not respect his, this man's game. I don't respect his game. I do not. The things that you hear people pump James Harden up about, his ball handling ability, his ability to be a playmaker, his ability, his, his skills, I don't, buy, I don't buy James Harden's skill. I don't think James Harden has any skill. Yeah, he could dribble the ball around like an idiot in one spot for seconds at a time. That's not skill to me. I told you, James Harden could do all that nonsensical dribbling around because he doesn't, doesn't play any defense. He does nothing else on the basketball court. So all his energy goes into chucking up shots and dribbling. That's it. He exerts no energy on the defensive end at a high level consistently. Right? He does nothing else consistently. He doesn't even play games consistently. But you guys are going to try to tell me this man's a top five shooting guard? I've heard people say he's a top three shooting guard of all time. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No way, man. Guys, no way. He's not top ten. He's not. He's definitely not top five, guys. He's definitely not. He's definitely not. And let's go through this real briefly. Now, this, this is just off the top of my head, guys, these shooting guards. All right? Now, for me, one to five, I got set in stone. One to five, I got set in stone, guys, right? We know who it is. It's Michael Jordan. It's Kobe Bryant. I got Jerry West third on my shooting guards list. Some of you guys might think Jerry West is a point guard. He was a shooting guard, guys, all right? If you have Dwayne Wade ahead of Jerry West, I got no beef with you, man. I got no beef with that. But I got Jerry West ahead of Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade is number four for me, all right? That's no disrespect to Dwayne Wade, right? No disrespect. And number five, I got Clyde Drexler. All right, guys, to me, those five are, those are the top five shooting guards of all time. I don't even think it's a debate or it's a question, guys. To me, those are the guys. Like I said, if you switch up the order with Jerry West, you know, and, and Dwayne Wade, or I, I, that's cool. I get it. No, no problem with that. But those are the top five guys, right, guys? James Harden's not better than any of those guys. We can all agree on that. James Harden's not close to any of those guys. The all-around game of those players I mentioned, the clutch ability, <laughs> James Harden is the complete opposite of those guys when it matters most in money time. Right? James Harden disappears when you need him. Where's all those skills when you need him? So, number six through ten, guys. Let's think about this for a second now. This is in no particular order. George Gervin? I think George Gervin's greater than James Harden. How about uh, Allen Iverson? I'll take Allen Iverson over James Harden. Allen Iverson got more heart. More heart than James Harden will ever have. He's got more grit than James Harden ever have. So those are two guys right there. How about Ray Allen? I'll definitely take Ray Allen's all-around game over James Harden's. 
Ray Allen's a better shooter. He's a better, to me, he's he was better shooter off the dribble. Ray Allen. A lot of people think Ray Allen was a spot-up shooter. Ray Allen will cross you up and, and dunk on you, man. Ray Allen was in a slam dunk contest, guys. James Harden ain't going on slam dunk contest. He can't finish like Ray Allen, guys, off the dribble. I'm telling you guys, he can't. He wasn't a greater athlete than Ray Allen. Ray Allen, we all know about the we all know about Ray Allen when it's clutch time, right? Right? We all know about Ray Allen. Hit one of the biggest shots in NBA Finals history. James Harden would never even dare to make a shot like that. He never has. So I'll put Ray Allen over James Harden. Ray Allen was actually a better defensive player also than a James Harden. So what that that's six, seven, eight guys right there. How about Sam Jones? Sam Jones, I think, might be a, a greater shooting guard than James Harden. If we just think about Sam Jones' performances in the playoffs, right, when it matters most, Sam Jones was a clutch time performer for those Boston Celtics teams of the 60s. Put some respect on Sam Jones. How about Reggie Miller, guys? I'm not putting James Harden again above Reggie Miller. Reggie Miller might be number six to me, man. The heart of Reggie Miller, the grit of Reggie Miller. Come on, man. Reggie Miller, way more clutch than James Harden. James Harden's played with more talent than most of those guys that I mentioned on these lists. He's played with all kinds of talent. And yet and still, the man always seems to shrink when it matters most. When you need him to show up, he is not there. All that dribbling, all that shooting, those step backs, all that nonsense, the flopping around, the trying to draw fouls, that stuff does nothing for him in the postseason. Nothing. The evidence is there. James Harden will have one game. He'll score 40 points. The next game, he'll score 13. That's James Harden, guys. So, guys, listen. This is no knock on James Harden. I do not respect James Harden, the basketball player. And his off-the-court antics, you know I don't do off-the-court stuff, guys. But that's another reason why we don't respect this man, Right? He gives no effort in the basketball games, right? He's always missing games for whatever reasons, but always feels a need to go out and do all his other stuff off the court. He has energy for all that, but no energy to play in the games. I don't respect James Harden. I never will, right? His game is trash. Those scoring tiles he got, I don't respect them. I don't respect it. I don't respect his game at all. His game would never translate to a real NBA game. The game that I grew up watching, he wouldn't translate in the 80s and the 90s, guys. He would not. He's a flopper. He's soft. And he doesn't play any defense. He gives no hustle. He has no grit. He has no heart. I'll never put James Harden in the top 10 shooting guards of all time. Never. 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 And if you guys watched the video, then you could tell. He's not top 10 all time, guys. Those other guys that I mentioned, they had better all-around games. Especially those top guys. It's not even close. When I hear people say James Harden's a top five shooting guard. Or someone said he, he was a top three shooting guard. Top three? So if he's top three, you're telling me he's above Dwayne Wade, Jerry West, Clyde Drexler? I don't know what NBA you've been watching. You guys know the deal, man. We're here to tell the truth here. We're here, to, we're here for the facts, man. Put some respect on these guys. Guys like Reggie Miller. I'll take Reggie Miller any day over James Harden, guys. Any day. Any day over, over James Harden. It's not even a question. I don't care about his accolades. I don't care about James Harden's phony stats. I don't care. That stuff means nothing, man. It means nothing when you watch the game. His whole career is fabricated. It's a fabrication, man. It's a product of the, of the NBA game that he plays in, the NBA era he plays in. That's all that is. You guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.